friends, Teacher Loretta here, and today I'm going to be reading Groundhog Day, and we have Groundhog Day and Valentine's Day coming up around the corner, so this book kind of will talk about Groundhog Day, and maybe a little bit about Valentine's Day, we'll see. So let's find out what happens in Groundhog Day, but as we read it, we've been talking about the setting and characters and stories so let's see if you notice and can tell who the characters are in this story and maybe the setting so where it's taking place so keep your eyes open and groundhog day let's find out groundhog day Valentine's Day was only two weeks away, and Moose was planning a grand party. You need Valentine's balloons, said Squirrel, and Valentine cards, said Bunny. And don't forget the Valentine hugs, pointed out Porcupine. Everyone has to come to my party, said Moose. Uh oh, Bunny said, that's a problem. What's a problem? Moose asked. Tomorrow is Groundhog Day, Bunny said. If Groundhog sees his shadow, he'll go back into his hole for six more weeks. He won't be awake on February 14th. Good point, Moose said. If we stop him from seeing his shadow, then he can come to my party. I've got it, said Squirrel. I'll sneak into his hole and change his calendar so he won't know it's February 2nd. So he's got his little plan. Groundhog house, and he sneaks in sleeping, changes it to be sneaky. Changing the calendar and out he goes. Your chattering will wake him up, said Porcupine. I'll blindfold him when he comes out. So he's there, he's gonna jump down, Groundhog House door comes out, then he jumps down, blindfolds him, Groundhog, Groundhog, and then he's like, oh, what? What's going on? Let's Porcupine. Your quills might poke his eye out, said Bunny. I'll put up a tent over his hole. So his plan is here, so it's Woodland Home here. And he sets up a tent out front. You'll hmm. know he's not outside, Moose said. I'll sit on his pole so he can't come out at all. Moose is just gonna sit there and block his door. Calendar, moose, blindfold, moose, yes, moose, fella, moose. The animals bickered all night long. They didn't notice the black sky turning gray. They didn't notice the pink light of morning creeping over the hills. And they didn't notice Groundhog's nose twitching at his entrance hole. Oops. Until it was too late. Uh oh. Looks like he saw his shadow. The animals watched helplessly as Groundhog dove back into his hole. Wait! Moose thundered. 
groundhog's muffled voice barely reached the surface. I need to stay down here. There are shadows all over the place up there. This was puzzled. Groundhog, are you afraid? Is that why you go back into your hole? You could say that, Groundhog called. I didn't realize Groundhog was afraid of shadows, said Squirrel. Me neither, said Porcupine. Shadows aren't scary, said Bunny. They're scary to it. Groundhog said Moose. The animals sat quietly thinking. Hmm. Hey, Groundhog, Moose finally said. What if we show you just how awesome shadows are? I'll show you the way leaves blowing in the wind make shadows that dance. I'll show you how to draw silhouettes, said Bunny. I'll show you how clouds cast shadows on the hills, said Squirrel. I want to show Groundhog my shadow puppet, said Porcupine. Look, he's making a bunny. Dancing in shadows, Moose said. Cloud shadows, Squirrel said. Silhouette, Bunny said. Shadow puppet, said Porcupine. Wait, said Groundhog. Is that a piece hole? Can't we do all of them? They all sound fun! The animals spent the day showing Groundhog all the amazing shadows they could discover and create. And they were all fun, especially porcupines, shadow puppets. It's a comb. It's a feather. It's a bus saw. It's sunshine. Finally, late that night. What a wonderful day, Groundhog said. But I really do have to go back into my hole now. He shivered. Ooh. Six more weeks of winter, you know. But you're not afraid of shadows anymore, Moose protested. Now you don't have to miss my Valentine's Day party. I may not be afraid, Groundhog said. But it's cold up here. But there aren't any balloons in your hole, said Squirrel. Or Valentine's cards, said Bunny. Or Valentine's hugs, Por said po Porcupine pointedly. Nope. But my hole is warm, said Groundhog. He looked at his disappointed friend. We can at least have hugs before I go. Ground hugs all around with a special Groundhog Day nose kiss for you, Porcupine. Works for me. Happy Groundhog Day, said Porcupine. Six weeks later, 
Groundhog emerged from his den just in time. Don a green hat? Let's have a St. Patrick's Day party, he hollered. We're all here! All but Bunny, Squirrel reminded Groundhog. Where's Bunny, Groundhog asked. Oh, you know Bunny, Moose said. He always gets holed up this time of year. Oh, what is Bunny doing? <gasps> Looks like Easter eggs. That's our story. I hope you enjoyed Groundhog Day and learned a little something about Groundhog Day and about the groundhog seeing his shadows. And I hope you also kind of paid attention to the characters and the setting of the story, which was outside. And you had the bunny and the moose, and the porcupine and groundhog. Those were their characters. Okay, and they were in their little homes in the woods. That was part of our setting. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Bye for now.